Well, that doesn't look very good. What do you say we clean up a little bit? Much better. Not sure how this one's gonna go quite yet. I'm thinking this is going to be a one piece glide bait where the weight is on the back. And so it just sinks pretty slowly. And when you jerk it or just retrieve it, it has a nice, really wide glide. So I could do After that. this coping saw job, I've said it before. This is just me really, I mean, I'm like way off the line cause I get all squiggly. So I don't really like being too precise. <laughs> As you can see there, that is way off, so it's okay. That's what I was kind of trying to do. Kind of trying to do. It's fun to say. Don't laugh at me. Don't be mean to me. You guys are pretty good, so I'm not too worried. But now, I'm using my chopping technique to clear this up a little bit, and then I'll get out the file. Okay. I just sharpened this knife too. Feels good. All I did was strop it really. You can see a little of the green stuff there. It's okay. Well, honestly, I forgot how good it was to have a really sharp tool. Here we go. Pretty good. All right, there we are. And on these one piece glide baits, there isn't really a top profile. You just want to get it to the right width. So I'm going to need to thin this down a bunch. Okay, and I'm just going to. How's that? little scuff up there, but I guess that's why I made it a little extra thick. Okay. And I'm gonna use this same paper belt. Okay, sanded. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit of drawing. Oh, what am I doing? First, I'm gonna drill out the eye sockets. I like drilling out the eye sockets first because it really gives you a good, like, base or starting point for where to carve around. Like, you can kind of look at distances and. And you got to just get the eyes perfect, and then your gills can be pretty good. Okay, here we go. Running out of batteries. You have it. A couple of eyes. I just drill the drill the ones down here, just because I I'm all set up for that. So yeah, I'll I've do got that. a couple spots marked out. And we'll see if we think it's enough. Before putting the weight in there, before I... You know what? No, I'm going to do the gills first. Okay, here we go. I'm trying 
trying to get into making fancy nice gill patterns, but for now I'm just going to do these. I'm also going to do some side fins. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is score. Okay, now how you do this part, you already know, but we're going to tell you anyway. So, I'm going to... That went pretty smooth. Okay, well, they're coming out pretty good. Okay, now I gotta do it to this side, and this side's a little more messy. You guys know what I like to call this time? I, I like to call it filey, sandy, sandy, filey, filey, sandy, sandy time. For no reason. I'm just kidding, I've never called it that a day in my life. I'm just saying there's a lot of this involved. And you know what, I don't wanna use a file. I'm going straight to the sandpaper. Ah, me gusta. Okay, they look pretty good. They still need a lot more sanding, but there they go. And I'm going to start working on those fins. So I'm going to draw some little lines, and then I'm going to carve on them. Same process as the gills. I don't think there's any sandpaper that'll do that, so that'll probably just be it. I might be able to fit one more there. So at it the doesn't end. look as good, but but that's just because of those marks there. I think the side came out almost just as good as this one. This side's pretty clean. All right, definitely needs more sanding, but otherwise that's a pretty sweet looking thing. I'm gonna put the as much weight as I can in here and show you that a lot in there. A lot. I really smushed them and piled them in. So I'm going to dump some super glue on there. Okay, time for the baking soda. Okay, first one. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
flush and smooth. All right, time to drill out those. All right, doing the twist wires. This is just some, what is this stuff? This stuff. Here, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I got it off of Marling Bates Amazon store. And right now it's in the drill. And I'm gonna put it around this and twist it. So it's like that. Okay, here we go. That's the final one. I'm gonna glue them in. This lure could be dealing with some monster fish. I'm gonna really try to glue these in right. So I'm gonna squish it in there. Honestly, I should probably be like epoxying this in. The last thing I'm gonna do right now is soak this thing in super glue. Painting, believe it or not, we are actually starting with black today. So, bit of a twist. I have this new paint scheme that I really like. It's really simple, but totally super cool still. So, let's get started. They're gonna go into a white belly. You see how not smooth I got this. Okay. Now we are doing scale. Right, here we go. This is pearl silver. There we are so far. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, pearl blue. What do you think? Almost done. Weird, but kind of cool, right? Right? Just put a little pearl white on the gills. There's, I'm probably still going to do something about those fins, but these ones. But yeah. That eye is not glued on, I just stuck it there. I think it's pretty good. Should I do something to that fin? That's the question. Should I make it kind of red like the eye, or pink, or orange, or just paint it? Could just paint it black. I might do that. Yeah, I'll just make it a little darker. All right. I think we're about to glue on the eye. 
This is a beautiful dead meat custom. And peeling off the little paper. Getting a glue. Applying the glue. I honestly think that could be called done. Okay. It's an interesting paint scheme. It's an interesting bait, all right. Well, here it is. Uh, I took it outside. It came out pretty good. Um, There's a couple bubbles around the eyes. And I did not like how these fins came out. But otherwise, I think it's a pretty cool lure. Oh, yeah. I don't know what happened there, but on the eye... There's this weird little, like, cloudy bubble. Very weird. And I don't know if I'll get to test the action on this, because it's, it's kind of raining a bunch. But, um, I could try somewhere. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And if I have action footage, I'll put it in after this.